Welcome back guys, Massive Dynamic here with another quick tip. This one is on uh, ratios and science and making it simple. Um, now Factorio is a game that can be very mathy and if you enjoy math and um, if you're an engineer and that's what you like to do then go for it. Uh, you, can, you can use, uh, there's many calculators available online that you can use to help with your calculations or you can do it all with pencil and paper on your cell phone or whatever uh, but this is for those of us who just play the game because it's a game and may not want to do all those calculations maybe it's uh, your first playthrough or whatever and you just want a quick easy way to uh, figure out your ratios and and have everything semi simple so this is the easiest way to do it that I have found in Factorio. So the, what you do is when you look at a recipe, for instance, we'll look at the red science, automation science recipe, and you look at the speed, the crafting time, which is five seconds for red science. And in five seconds, you get one red science um, vial. So that ratio is uh, five machines to get one red science in one second. So this is the, called the base rate, one per second. Now, when we do this calculation, we ignore crafting time of the machines. So these level one assembly machines, they craft in 0.5 seconds. So we're only really getting 0.5 science per second. But we don't care about that because we know that we are going to upgrade the machines in time. Uh, so, to make it simple, for uh, your gears then, you only need one assembly machine to run your five crafting machines because it takes one half of a second to get your uh, gears. So that's actually, you only need half a machine, but since we can't do a half a machine, we use one machine. So there's your red science build, five assembly machines with one gear machine. And that will scale. Um, if you just upgrade all of your assembly machines as you go. So you'll notice that I have this little counting set up here. It's not measuring per second. It's just measuring uh, across this many belts how many how many vials are on the belt across this many belts. Okay, so, so it's exactly the same number of belts across all three tiers. So here we'll see that it's got approximately, it runs around 11, 12, 13, say 12 uh, on the belt at any given time with the level one machine. The same exact um, setup and this, these, the, this level two machines keep about 18, 19, 20, so say 18 on the belt at any given time. And finally the level three machines keep approximately 30 on the belt at any given time. So you see that it just scales naturally. So uh, that's an easy way. So when you get, uh, you run your base out in, in tier one machines, and then as you build science and say you get to uh, blue science and you're, you have your level two machines available, then you just, if you wanna keep everything at the same ratio when you get to blue science, you upgrade your uh, machines to the level two assembler machines. And so then we'll look at the green science. It's the same exact thing uh, with green science. Here we go. I'll stand still for a second so I don't get you dizzy. Green science is a uh, six second crafting time and belts and inserters each take a half second each. So one assembler for each of those and six, six seconds for one vial means six assembly machines. There's our six assembly machines, and there's our one belt machine and one uh, inserter machine. I did do one gear machine each, uh, which is a little bit overkill. Technically, I only need one gear machine for both, but I went ahead and put gave each one its own. And then the one um, green circuit machine, because it also runs at a half second. Uh, so that, again, will scale. So here we are, the same, you'll notice, around 12, just like the red science. Here, around 18, just like the red science. And here, around 30, just like the red science. So um, as you progress, as long as you use the same ratio and the same machines, 
then your ratio will be the same. So here's our gray science. And again, around 8, 9, 10, same, same area for the level 1 assembly machines. And because uh, grenades take 8 seconds to craft, we'll look at the gray science. So gray science, you get 2 military science files in 10 seconds. So that means 5 assembly machines. When we look at our grenades, sorry, wrong tap. Look at our grenades, it takes 8 seconds, so 8 machines. We look at our um, piercing rounds, it takes 3 seconds, so 3 assembly machines. And finally, our walls take a half second, so 1 assembly machine. Now, back to our piercing rounds, we, need, uh, we also need 1 firearms magazine per second, and they take um, 1 second. So we need one of those, and that will feed the three piercing round machines. So there's our setup. So we have the three piercing round machines, one regular machine or uh, uh, bullets, one wall, and eight grenade machines, and that keeps our same ratio of on this approximately eight. It's running around 10 to 12, which is fine. Uh, but it's right in the same range. So then if you want to quickly just look at the rest of the science. So our blue chemical uh, science packs take 24 seconds for two machines. So in this case, we take the 24 seconds. We divide it by the two uh, vials that we'll get. That leaves 12. So we get 12 machines on our blue science. On our purple science, production science, it takes 21 seconds and we get three vials. So we divide the 21 by three, seven. So seven assembly machines for the purple science. And on the yellow utility science, the same ratio, 21 seconds for three utility science vials packs. Uh, so that's seven assembly machines for the yellow science. And it goes all right down the line. So our processing units, if we look at processing units, they take 10 seconds to craft. We're going to want one per second. So it's 10 machines. For our low density structures, they take 20 seconds to craft. We want one per second. So we do 20 machines. We get one, one low density structure per craft. It takes 20 seconds. So 20 machines. The same with the, let's say, the uh, modules, the, the prod modules. They take 15 seconds, 15 machines for one module. Just base it on the one per second. And that's just a very easy, simple, and quick way to calculate your initial, at least for your starter base. After that, if you want to go for a 1,000 science per second or 500 science per second or whatever your goal is, you can do that later, but this is just for your starter base, just to get things going. This is a good, I find that having, using this base ratio, uh, this base rate is uh, is a good way to uh, build your initial base. Uh, it'll, it, it's good uh, as far as your typical starting setup, uh, as far as the available ores and things, you don't have to expand, you know, too much. Uh, typically your initial starting ores will support this uh, this level of production. So I find that it's a good way to start off. So there's your quick tip for this time around. So thanks a lot, guys. Please leave your comments in the comment section. Please like and share with your friends. And we will see you next time. Keep playing Factorio. Thanks again.